we got something to tell you. Um, you know those texts between you and Adidas? Yeah, it was a prank. We pretty much told him to text you and pretend like he liked you and just see what happened. I don't play like that. I know y'all don't play like that. If that were to happen to you, you wouldn't like it because you guys are both in relationships. So that's like me saying, Oh yeah, so I kissed your boyfriend on April 1st. Three main reasons people pull April Fool's pranks are one, for humor, two, for vengeance, and three, for a reaction. Now let's talk about three. People do three for um, intimate topics like relationships and crushes and husband and wife scenarios like sleeping with my best friend husband or kissing my best friend boyfriend or hickey pranks. People do these because they know that this may never happen or could possibly happen so they just want to know what it would be if it did happen. And um. Like I said, it happened to me. So, yeah, let's get into the video. Um, so April 1st, I got a, pr a prank. I was, I was prank on April 1st. But April 1st, I got a text from a mutual associate. So I got a text from this associate. We're gonna call him Adidas, cause he always wear them Adidas that look like outside shoes. <laughs> that was shady let me stop okay so adidas was like hey lamaya i gotta talk to you about something and i was like hey okay then adidas was like this is adidas by the way and i was like oh okay I was like, I don't know who this is, but I'll figure it out as the convo continues. Then the individual Adidas was like, okay, cool. So-and-so was like, so-and-so was telling me about the trip to Daytona and I wanted to know if you were going. And just to service as a bit of clarification behind the context spoken, essentially after receiving this message from Adidas, I contacted the so-and-sos that informed Adidas of this trip because I was closer to the so-and-sos than I was to Adidas. So for Adidas to inform me of this trip that we would all be partaking in, I saw this as not necessarily concerning or alarming, but something to question. So I asked the so-and-sos why I was not informed directly by them. And when I'm asking them this, they're evading what I'm saying and they're placing emphasis on who told me. Who told me? Who told me? Who told me? And the type of person that I am, it's just like, you don't need to worry about who told me what. Just tell me why you didn't tell me. So as they're evading the questions that I'm asking, I'm also evading the questions that they're asking me as well. Yet in that moment, I could not understand, and for the lack of better word, the calamity. I could not understand the um, giddiness of the conversation that we were having because it seemed as if they knew a male contacted me. It seemed as if they knew Adidas contacted me, yet in that moment, it wasn't fully translating within myself that they knew Adidas was going to contact me and or Adidas had already contacted me. So them asking me, yet never telling me what they knew or what they know or what they suspected was very telling. So-and-so was telling me about the trip to Daytona and I wanted to know if you were going. Then I was like, more than likely, yes. Then Adidas was like, well, if you're going, I'm most definitely going. And then I was like, all right, well, I'll let you know as the plan progresses, more than likely I'll go. And so at the end of the text, he basically closed it saying, well, I would love it if you came, LOL, winky face. And that was the final text between me and Adidas. So after receiving this text, I was very skeptical. I was not sure of why this individual would be telling me something like this. Like we don't even interact on that level. 
I do not like him and I know he does not like me. So it was very weird to receive a text like that. Also, I was a little thrown off because I'm like, sir, first of all, we have two group chats. One with the coach and the coachee. Two with our friends and mutual associates. Why are you, why are you asking me about this outside of the chat? So I was like, I'm gonna meet with my girls on what? I'm gonna meet with my girls on the 5th, which is a Friday. So um, I knew I was gonna see them on Friday. So I saved everything that I received from the 1st for the 5th. Because I was just like, when you get together with your girls, you talk about everything that you go through that week. You talk about everything that you felt that week. You just talk about everything when you guys are together. So I felt like it would be perfect if I just saved it for Friday because why not? We're all going to be together and we're all going to be face to face. And that's, I think that's kind of like the difference between me two. Like I love to send a good text or I love to have conversations within a group chat. But for me, I'm more of a face to face person is what I'm saying. So I was just like, let's save it for Friday. And I did. And I told them on Friday and they were just like, oh my God, you guys are going to be a cute couple. Oh my God, you guys like each other. Oh my God, oh my God acting like they were so surprised and just oblivious to everything that was going on before I presented it to them. So basically after I told them what happened, we were still going to have our night out together. So we went out skating and then we went out to eat. And while we were out to eat, they basically, we basically placed our order and we were waiting for our food to come. And they were like, so we got something to tell you. Um, you know those texts between you and Adidas? Yeah, it was a prank. We pretty much told him to text you and pretend like he liked you and just see what happened. Like, when I'm talking to my girlfriends, I'm being explicitly honest. I'm showing them the raw content. They had every moment in time to tell me that those messages were fake, that it was a prank. So I'm telling them basically like, I don't really like Adidas, but since Adidas is showing me some attention, showing me a little bit of love, I'll just entertain it. I'm not finna pimp a nigga head, scrape the ocean dry, but you know, <laughs> I'm just gonna be the Libra that I am. And I think what really bothered me was the fact that, yes, I can admit in that moment in time, I was in a vulnerable place. To where I was alone and I began to feel lonely. So I was willing to accept the attention of Adidas just for the sake of that void I was experiencing at the time. So what bothered me was the fact that I did not even like dude. I did not really find him attractive. Yet it appeared as if I viewed him as such because I was willing to accept his his attention. They were behind that prank. They knew it was a prank since April 1st and they didn't tell me until April 5th, which just made me feel like it wasn't a prank because you wanted it to be humorous. It wasn't a prank because you wanted it to be vengeful. It was a prank because you wanted a reaction. Like I said, there's three types of pranks. One is for humor <laughs> the second is for revenge and the third is for a reaction and they did their prank for a reaction and it so happened to be within the realm of intimacy and romance and relationships and I think it bothered me because I don't play like that I know y'all don't play like that if that were to happen to you you wouldn't like it because you guys are both in relationships so that's like me saying oh yeah so I kissed your boyfriend on April 1st. And they're waiting all the way until April 5th just to tell you that it was a prank. Like, I don't play like that. I don't play about intimacy or relationships. I don't play or pull pranks that will conflict with an individual's emotions, spirit, and mentality. I don't do those types of pranks. And that's why I rarely pull any pranks in general. You know, the only thing that I do that would be considered as pranks on like a daily basis is when I scare my coworkers, but I don't do it often because I don't want them to like, you know, have any issues with their heart. But, you know, that's the only thing I do. I'll probably hide behind a corner and be like, ah, scare you. But I'm not doing any pranks that 
involve your mind your heart and your soul like i don't do pranks like that so it just bothered me that they would pull a prank like that simply because of reaction and i know it was for reaction because i am very private in regards to romance in regards to people i like in regards to the type of guys that i like i hold intimacy and relationships at a sacred level i am going to be so very private about my romantic life when I have one. You know, of course the people who need to know will know. Like in regards to friends and peers and even family to an extent, I will keep my relationship and my love life and my love so sacred that people won't even be able to tell stories about us. Like, no. So because I'm so private and sacred about romance and intimacy, and I haven't experienced it. I haven't experienced that yet for myself. I think they pulled that prank because they just wanted to see. They wanted to see how I would react if someone said they liked me, and if and if it so happened to be a friend of ours, you know. And I didn't like that. I don't play like that. That's just not me. I don't play like that. Don't play with intimacy. I don't do that. So it really. ASMR, do you hear that? Anyways, it really bothered me. It really bothered me. So yeah, basically after that, we ate. I went home, went to sleep, and then carried on my day. I don't know. It There's so many different scenarios that could have made the outcome different, but ultimately, don't do nothing like that. Like, don't do anything like that to me don't because I don't I don't I wouldn't do that to you and that's my biggest thing if I wouldn't do it to, do, to you and you know you wouldn't like it if I did it to you don't do it to me I may not have a boyfriend I may not but don't do that to me because I'm so glad I really don't like this person and I'm so glad that I'm just so glad I don't like this person because it could have went terribly, terribly wrong. And that's why it always, it could have went terribly wrong. And that's what happens to so many young ladies out there. They're honest to a lie and they end up embarrassed. So, um, thank God I didn't like him and I don't like him. But it's just crazy to have a prank like that pulled on you by people that you trust and that you wouldn't do that to them. Maybe I'm taking it too deep, deeper than what it should be, or maybe I'm taking it for what it what it is. And that's where I come to you guys, the general public, and I ask you, what do you think? I need honest opinions, perspectives, feedback viewpoints i'm asking for it and if you can comment that down in the comment section i would appreciate it if you can relate to this video if you like this video give it a thumbs up 